up guys welcome back to another video it's me Libby Fox and today we are going to do the businesses anyways I'm going to show you as much as I can and you could just infer what I don't show you is interesting <laughs> so this is like a guard place like kind of like a police station almost and I think this is the yeah this is where the prisoners would be held until they get transferred to the ca castle prison. Yes, the prisoners get transferred to the castle prison. I think, I don't know if I remember showing you guys, but, oh no, I can't go in. Um, should be some kind of entrance somewhere. Yes, lots of red. Honestly, I feel like this is more like a dancing area or like a place to like hang out or something, I don't know. Uh, ah, we can access through, oh, this is the throne room by the way. I'm gonna access it through the king's. But I didn't break anything. That was important. <sighs> Man, that sucks. I wanted to. I wanted to show you the prison. It's very, very big. I think I started with the castle, and then I used all the blocks from this castle to to make this. I think that's what I did. I can't remember. Anyways, let's just go to stores. Okay. So this obviously is a door store. The selection. I tried to have the wax stuff for the copper because it's a lot better if you have it waxed because then it doesn't oxidize on you and yeah oh yeah I didn't stock it up but eh. <laughs> that's the door store this is a rails and cart store I guess and then this is just like showing you all the the prices and stuff. So that's $10,000. Um, 6000 2000 1000 So just, it's a variety of price. And I think this is just telling you what it is. And then the prices are over there. And these are some carts, I guess. They're just showing off the carts. You can see it on this side, but you kind of can see it over here. If you just jump. <laughs> and then up here, is the boat slash car store I guess because I don't know you could I guess you could use it as a car if you wanted to this doesn't show up in the bedrock world I don't know I guess too much stuff to do I don't know anyways um this one was very interesting to build because it was in a hill that I got rid of Oh my gosh, if I remember all the way back to when I was starting this, this was all grass and hills. Oh, the amount of YouTube videos I had to watch to get through the day of building. That was a lot. This was one of the original buildings that I did. I think it's like a members only thing that accesses to the underground place. I have another one over there in the, like in the homes area that's like a tour thing, I guess. Like a oldie house. I don't know. Uh, anyways, back to the stores. <laughs> this is a shield store. Obviously, because there's a shield. And, you know, buy stuff there. And then this is farm tools. Looks very farmy, I guess. Uh, I actually did a lead. It took forever to figure out how to make the lead. But it looks like a, a mirrored E. Like, you know, the E, the lowercase E, it looks like a mirrored lowercase E. That's a mushroom right there, by the way. <laughs> this is a, I forgot, what was it? Banner. Banner and pattern. Right, no pattern. 
But this is like the banner panner stuff. <laughs> that's that's funny. That's funny. Um, this is the bank. A bank. Yeah, Second Street Bank. I think I might have already shown you this, so I'll just leave it alone. This is Funeral Home 2, and this is where you get the coffins. So, they just go up in price based on the material. So, I think Birch is one of the cheapest ones. So, they have Birch, 1,000. Mangrove, 3,000. Dark Oak, 5,000. Uh, Junglewood, 8,000. Spruce, 6,000. Oh. Okay. I guess Jungle's the most expensive in this one. And I guess there's, like, op other options, I guess. Oh, yeah, Cherry, too. Bamboo. Yeah, yeah, some may not be on the sale floor. <laughs> if I was going to do this, if I was going to make a coffin store again, I would have made it a lot bigger and a lot less like that. Oh, this is the wool store. That was, this one was kind of cool. I, oh, yeah, I did um, put wool in the chests. Yeah, it's nice. I think I also have, a, like, a blacksmith store where you have the option of getting your stuff blacksmith. This is a fletching store. I have no idea what fletching is. What is it? <coughs> Sorry. I was sneezing. I needed to sneeze. Let's see what this does. What? What? How? What? Does it do anything? Like what? Is it only in survival mode I can do something with it? It's kind of cute. Whenever it gets in the right angle, it looks like like a, a motif of like the arrow and a bow. I think that's what I'm thinking of. I don't know. What do these things do? What do they do? Do they craft like the bow stuff? I don't know. Anyways, um, you obviously know the store, the supermarket. But I'll show you anyway, because why not? There's no doors, I guess. So this is like you know you know there's delis in a lot of good superstores. There are there, yeah there's obviously delis in every supermarket or neighborhood markets I guess. And this is what we have here. It's very cute. If you like obviously bought some meat, you could always like bring it over here and then you could like have it cooked. And then or you could just buy it from there and then have it cooked there. I don't know. Like a cool deli. I guess that's like the only place you could get your meats. I don't know. And then we have some like dry foods and um, potions. Yeah. Very nice. And then you have your appliances over here too. Like a lot of your appliances. It took me forever to get all of the, um, it took me forever to get all of the stuff. Oh no, why is that there? Why did I have this stuff there? I don't need it there. But this is like obviously where you might get some of your appliances from the supermarkets. Ah. Then there's an Oh yeah, this was supposed to be like a uh, flower pot, flower pot or something. Or maybe like um I don't remember. Oh, this is the checkout. <laughs> and then up here we have more of like tools and clothes, I guess. And then maybe some redstone stuff. The school has a lot of redstone stuff, I think. I, don't, I think you saw it. I'm not sure. Or maybe that was just me looking around it. I don't remember. It took me forever to make that school, by the way. Here is a diner. A lot of my restaurants are diners. I don't know why. I guess I can't think of restaurant names. Or, the, uh, or I can't remember how to spell restaurant. I can't remember. <laughs> Here is the school. You probably saw it before. My brother said it looked like a similar school that he saw before. Which is cool. I was not aiming for that. And then the factory. I can't remember if you saw it. But I'm going to show it to you anyway because there's a business attached to it. That is an unfinished house. By the way. Um, here is where you would buy all of your blocks for like construction if you wanted. I could have, like, a construction business in the other kingdom, but I don't care right now. I'm, I just... 
I'm out of energy for this world. I'd rather go in survival mode than do anything more for this. Like stock all of the this businesses and <laughs> that's copper. But yeah, it's annoying. This is like the private pr parking for um the both businesses because they're connected. Obviously, you could po probably put a lot of horses into one thing. Here's the factory. I try to like make a cute transition. <laughs> I try to make a cute transition into the workspace, but I think I failed miserably. Cause how can you blend literal bricks with quartz? Like h how 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 can you make that blend without completely overriding the whole place with more bricks with minimal um, quartz? Anyway, so this is what we have so far. The well, this is what we have of the factory, the factory manager room right there. So I tried to make it look busy and filled with a lot of machinery stuff and work desks. I also tried to put like a lot of flowers and to liven the place up. I think it worked. This is like um, shipping crates, I guess, that to, that receive and ship out processed stuff. Because I feel like this is a processing plant. More fun here. And this is like I think only the, the only access port to like the office where there's some office office desks here for like workers and stuff. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, that's like the factory. That is staff parking. And that is lo oh my gosh. The amount of underground work I had to do. Oh <gasps> You probably, I wonder if you guys remember what the space looked like <laughs> before it was turned into a school. Anyways, um, I think that's what, I don't want to go through the schools again. I, I didn't finish them. It took forever. Obviously, you've seen these buildings multiple times. I have not furnished those. I probably didn't show you that in the other video because I forgot to. <laughs> <laughs> They're really not finished. But if someone wants to live in them, they can go right ahead. If I ever do get this into, um, what's it called? Uh, public something, I don't know. This is a mine store. You can purchase the ore of the. Wow. Wow. Okay, my eyes are watering a little bit. I, I must be tired. Jeez. Okay. Um, so that was like an ore store. This is a music and more store. Probably just music. I just wanted to get that title out. I guess. <laughs> this is a public art class. So they could always just like do art or something. I don't know how to make canvases. Like canvases and then, I don't know. But I did um, do this so that's something. So I guess they could be like facing this way to face the teacher. I don't know. Eh. But that's cute. I had to figure something out for some of these buildings. So this is the funeral home one. And this is where they um, cremate or prepare the bodies for a coffin. You, you probably have to get the, like, the coffin already bought before you get the body taken care of. But yeah. It's nice. I should have had a bigger building for the funeral home one. Anyways. I can't honest. Oh, right, right. These, these, these. Okay. So, this is the black store, the blacksmith store. And obviously, you have your. Okay, but it's stay for one minute so you can probably pause the video to figure out the prices and stuff. But uh, yeah, you can hire a blacksmith. That is very spendy. And this is where you would um pick up your order, and that is where they would work on the stuff, which is cool. I have no door for it because it'd be kind of rude. <laughs> but yeah, they have some options right out on the gate. I'm in front of the building. Alright, and then over here we have utilities. Obviously. Nice. I think I'll just go in a little bit further. So we. Wait. So I have them different colored blocks so that way you can distinguish which is which. And then, oh, I think this is, um, a kitchen store? I can't remember, but this is a bookstore. 
obviously all the books you can imagine and then some chests that actually hold the books this is just like for show and then apartment entry <laughs> I don't remember if I got those situated with stuff uh, here's a loom store lots of looms and interestingly there's a second level to it oh no 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 I don't mean that one no. but yeah I don't can't I can't remember what this was oh this is a die store so there's a bunch of um, crafting tables so that way you can make your own die and then obviously those would be filled with um, flowers or something I don't know some more oh, this is like a two level <laughs> situation and then I think this is like apartments on top situation again can't remember where the ah there's the entrance but yeah that is interesting this is a cute one this is a very cute store this is a doggy arbor store ah! so this if you want to get dog armor you would just go here and then purchase it and it's already in here so cute and you can actually strengthen the armor with more armadillo shell that's how you can strengthen it and I thought this was a cute little thing to put on top of the building. Ah, it's so cute. And then this is real estate. I have like a mini house on top. Should have done more to the mini house, but eh. This is where you would like go to go to get apartments or houses. So this is the apartment um, dealer or real estate agent. I couldn't think of real estate agent or a I couldn't uh, <laughs> I couldn't think of agent or real estate agent, whatever they're called to write it down so I wrote down home dealer and apartment dealer <laughs> but yeah that's the realtors building I tried to make all the businesses have the same kind of window so that way you can recognize oh this isn't a home this is a business um I don't know if I showed you everything but eh. so this is part of like a police station so there's the police horses mats to sleep on and then the, here's the real family mats for their horses that's what i did there and then over here we have like a little garden space for the horses to run around i guess in that's that's nice oh pet store i forgot about the pet store so the pet store is over here this is probably gonna be like a semi-long video i can't remember anyways so, um, i think i have a horse yeah oh yeah i definitely have horses you saw it earlier Anyways, so, this is where, like, the animals, if they wanted to, they could come into the building and be like, hello, and then the people buying or returning animals can see, oh, okay, and this is what I did here. You would not believe what's underneath this building. It's interesting. Anyways, oh, no, what happened to the, hmm. oh, I need that back. I did not light this building well. It's so dark. I kind of like how I did the signs though. Because like, it's kind of cute because every little section, like the person who's working that desk knows what they're doing. Like, pet and animal returns right here. And it's the same thing on this side. And then I have it shortened for some of them for like, this one's for the animal feed and pet feed, so it's just feed pet buying, animal buying, and it should be on, like, on the same side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cute, I think. I have no idea what to put back here. Maybe some animal. I don't know. But this is, like, the storage for animal feed, I guess. And then, um, Mr. Deep Sleep is in charge and, like, basically owns the whole underground neighborhood. But I'm pretty sure, like, I could have something going on where, like, he doesn't own everything underground. But this is his main office and basically living space. <laughs> and then his his main gang works here. And also, I guess, like, the people who work here could also live here, too. Yeah. And then there's a door to access the underground. It just looks like another entranceway to, um, what's it called? Another part of the storage room, but yeah. I'm not gonna go down that rabbit hole because that's gonna take like I'll make the video longer if I try to go show you everything again. I think I've shown you everything again. I think I've shown you uh, everything underground. I just can't remember. I don't know. Anyways, I think that's all the businesses, but I'm just gonna go over here. Cause this 
was the thing that I kept talking about in every video, like, oh, I'm gonna make the, 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 the port thing, I'm gonna make the port thing, I'm gonna make the port thing. I finally did it a while back. So this is the outgoing, like, it goes that way, outgoing, that kind of outgoing. And then this one is like, what the? Oh yeah, this is like for the outgoing stuff. But then on the other side, it's for the incoming, for the arrivals. This is just for the outgoing stuff. But this person's gonna be like, hello, are you arriving? Let me see your ticket, that kind of stuff. Oh. Anyways, this is where the ships would dock. I'm not putting a ship here. I don't wanna. Oh no, what did I do here? But yeah, I have no idea how to make my small boat fit on this, so I might just go to the other dock. Yes, I made another dock. And it's all the way over here, which would probably be better for my small boat because it has a closer access to the water. Right here. Also, I'm glad I made sure I wasn't able to like access this place very fast. Like if I just like um in surround mode. This is cool. Because if someone wanted to escape that place and then figure out how to jump the wall, like yeah, like if they wanted to jump the wall, you'd be like, I'm free. It's kind of like one of those um movie cliffs. Like, you know how you see some daring hero jump off the cliff after getting out of something? That could be something like this. And down in here is like a special cave that's inside of um, Royalty Home. And this is like a secret entrance way to this. Like for freedom. If they ever wanted it. And I thought this is a kind of cute artificial cave. Because look at this. This is cute. A little waterfall ores everywhere to show you how rich you are because you can afford this <laughs> but yeah that's cute um i think i have everything done but i could be wrong this is like a little farmhouse farm barn that kind of thing another park i think i have one two i think i have three or four parks in this place i think it's still three i think it's three though no, no, four. Five? Five. I'm guessing five. Is that what I have? I think I showed you. Oh, well, I did not show you everything. So I have a fireworks store. I have a water store. Um, uh, diners. These are some of the diners. And then that, that's the weapon thing. That's a public restroom. Like, just in case if they're out and about on the town and they need to take a quick bathroom break, they can always just park their horse in the, um, park their horse in the church parking and then just go quickly to the bathroom. Yeah. It's quick. Easy. I'm very close to parking for the horse, too. But yeah. <clears throat> I tried to have the diner have, um, the diners have cute little things on top of them. So, like, this diner has a lava bowl or, like, a bowl full of something soup. And then this one has a cup. I thought it was cute. This is a fireworks store. It took me forever to figure out, well, not really forever to figure out how to make this firework thing, but I, I had a little firework in my inventory, like my little bar, my little bar thing, and I was looking at it every so often to make sure I was getting the pattern right. So this is like the firework store. It's cute. Um, two banks next to each other? Oh yeah, this is a bank here. Apartments. Um, I think I've shown you everything. Oh, wait, 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 Here we are. This is, like, a bathroom store. Yep. This is the bathroom store. This has everything that you might need for a bathroom. I think it's stocked. It is stocked. I wish I could have done something on the top of this diner. That would be cool, like a flower thing on top of it. But it would have looked like, oh, this is a flower shop. But now it's not. Oh, it's right a flower shop. Oh. I guess that could be for the other country. Anyways, this is a diner in here. It has a lot of flowers, so I guess that's the theme of that place. Flowers. I remember I had a pool store. I can't remember where it was, though. Was it inside of a building? Something. I can't remember. But anyways, I hope you've seen everything of this um world. 
this is going to be the last time you're going to see it because I'm done with this. I'm not doing any more videos of this world. And I need a break from this world. And I'm probably going to end up going into survival mode in this video. And yeah. <laughs> oh, well, that's a private thing. Oh, can I show you this really quick? I'm going to show you this before I um, go to survival. This is the private garden for this king and queen's castle. It's very cute. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm going to go to survival mode here to finish the creative. I am done. I don't want to do it anymore, and if I have to do more anymore, I will. Just for the sake of my sanity. <clears throat> if I have to fix anything, I will. But it will be in creative mode, that way I have all the materials that I need. Anyways, I'm going to survival mode to finish off this creative. <gasps> um, I think it's mode. Nope. Uh, so oh, it's set. Mode. No. Uh, survival. Sir, how did you survival? Do I do mode? Set. change it to survival I thought it was a command thing do I go here options peaceful how do I Oy, this is annoying how do you do this oh controls okay that's not how you do it um uh, I can do set time day oh is it sir Survival? No. Is it creative? How do you change the mode? Did I not make it accessible when I made this world? Um, is it game? Game mode! That's what it is. And then... Survival? There we go. Okay, now I'm in survival mode. Yep, can't jump into the sky. So without further ado... It is now to end the video on this game. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell when you want to see the newest Minecraft world that will be in creative again. But it will be completely new and completely different. There will be one kingdom. No two, just one. I'm going to make it easier on myself. And without further ado, thank you for watching this world. I hope you enjoyed seeing it grow from its humble beginnings of one kingdom to two kingdoms. And without further ado again, <laughs> thank you for watching.